Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, we are going to check out and put to use, this is the Ansel BST200 battery analyzer. Um, I have a Toyota Corolla. It has a battery that's been in there for, I don't know, about five or six years or so. Um, I think it's on its way out. And so I thought it'd be a good opportunity to test out this ba battery analyzer and see how it works and also see what condition uh, my battery is in. So before we open this up, let's take a look at the back here. So it has a features and benefits list here, all sorts of good information here to read through. Let's go ahead and open this up here. This clamshell style packaging. And here is the unit here. Let's just set that to the side for a moment. And here is the owner's manual. Let's take a look at it. All right, guys, here is the user's guide. Make sure that you read through this and understand it completely before you do use the battery analyzer. This has everything you need to know on how to use this both safely and properly and also all the warranty information. All right, let's go ahead and get a closer look at the unit. All right, guys, so here is the unit. Let's check it out up close here before we bring it out to the, the car and test it out. Here's the front side of it. Here's the back side of it. It's built really well. Um, I like the size of it. Um, you know, you could fit this easily into a toolbox or into a drawer, and it's there when you need it, um, you know, so the size is important. Um, the cables here are not overly long, but that's actually okay because um, when you do hook the red up to the positive battery terminal and the black up to the negative battery terminal, um, you're going to be standing right there reading the results. So the, the cord length here does not need to be overly long. Uh, it doesn't need to be any longer than it already is. Um, it doesn't uh, operate off an internal battery. It operates uh, off your car battery when you hook it up. So that's cool too. You don't ever have to worry about putting batteries in this thing. So before we use it, um, we need to make sure that we're wearing the right safety equipment. I already have a pair of nitrile gloves on to protect my hands. Um, and we need to make sure that we wear a pair of safety goggles to protect our eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and put my safety goggles on now and let's head out to the car and test this thing out. All right, guys. So the first thing we're going to do is this is the uh, positive terminal on the battery. We're just going to remove this cover here. Um, and we are going to take the red cable, um, the red clamp from the battery analyzer, and they have a spot for us to clamp onto right there like so. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the, um, the black clamp here and we're going to clamp it onto the uh, negative battery terminal, um, just like so there. And you can see this booted right up already tells us the voltage of the battery and we're just going to hit enter here and here is the menu all right guys so here is the main menu and we got four different options here we got the battery test we got view result um, which through reading through the owner's manual will show you the last result um, you know that that you did test um, we have language here, and if we go in here, uh, here are all the different languages. And then version info, which just tells you the software version and build of uh, the battery analyzer here. So let's go into battery test, and we're going to hit enter. And it's asking us right now, is the battery out of the vehicle or in the vehicle? This one is in the vehicle, so we're going to do that select that and then hit enter it's asking us the battery type um you know generally the batteries will have a sticker on them that will tell you the type of battery um this is a regular uh, wet cell battery um but there are other types so look for that sticker on your battery and if you can't find it get a hold of the manufacturer to figure out what type of battery it is um, i know that mine is regular so we're going to hit enter here um, these are all the different battery standards. So the batteries also on a label somewhere should tell you the cold cranking amps, which is the CCAs there. Um, so that's the, the metric we're going to use. And if we hit enter here, 
This battery is rated when it was brand new at 640 cold cranking amps. So we're gonna change this number up to 640 because that is this battery's rating. And we're gonna go ahead and hit the enter button here. And just like that, it is testing. So just like that, here are the results. So it does tell us right on the top there to replace the battery, which I suspected, you know, this battery has had a good run, but it is at the end of its life and does need to be replaced. Um, it tells us that it came in at 12.54 volts. Um, it tells us that it measured 483 cold cranking amps, where it was originally rated at 640 cold cranking amps. So that is a huge difference and is going to affect, uh, you know, just the startup of this battery. Um, so let's go ahead. There's a second screen here. All right, guys, uh, we can see here on the second screen, the SOH stands for status of health. And it says that it's at 63%, um, you know, obviously not a great number. Um, the status of charging, it shows that the battery is 93% charged. Uh, my car, for the most part, has been sitting for, what, a day and a half or so. Uh, so I, I'm not surprised that it's not 100% charged. Then it has another metric on the bottom there that I it doesn't talk about in the manual. Um, I believe it stands for the resistance of the battery, but it's not a metric that uh, I'm interested in. Basically, we wanted the info right here that tells us what the cold cranking amps were and what the volts of the battery, um, you know, at a, a near full charge is. Um, and we can just see that the cold cranking amps are, are far too low from what they were originally rated. So, all right, guys, we are all done here. So we are going to disconnect the clamps here from the battery terminals like so. And then don't forget to replace your uh, battery covers if you have some. And there we go. Let's uh, give a recap. All right, guys. Well, this is a cool little unit. I love the size of it and that you could fit it into a toolbox or into a drawer or something like that. Um, it doesn't take up a ton of space and then it's there when you need it. You know, I've been out and about before and had my battery go out and then I was stuck and that's just a horrible position to be in that nobody wants to be in. You know, and then you're stuck wasting your time and your effort and your resources, all which is just completely unnecessary. Um, we saw when we hooked this tool up how quickly it gave us the results and let us know what we needed to do with our uh, battery. And, you know, in my case, my battery's old and I suspected it needed to be replaced. And this confirmed that, that this tool let me know that I need to replace my battery, which I intend on doing very quickly now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you liked it. I appreciate you guys. Um, please like, subscribe, and comment. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you have the time, check out these other great videos.